Welcome to this month's channeling. The topic of this month's channeling is freeing ourselves from limitation. So without further ado, I'd like to introduce the being that is going to commune with us this month. And it is the being that I refer to as the Divine Mother or the uh, Divine Feminine. Give me a moment, please. I'd like to make the connection. Beloved children, I greet you and there is light and joy in our communion. Today we would commune with you of the experience, the process, the importance for the human being to free themselves from limitation. In order to free oneself from this, it is important for the human to first understand the source of these limitations. When you incarnate onto the earth plane, there is much that is already in place, structures both of a physical, an emotional and a mental state. These structures come into being through individuals, in the form of family, they come into being through societies and through the greater consciousnesses which dominate the earth plane. These prescribed structures often have forms of consciousness associated with them and these forms of consciousness are the accumulation of human perception of reality over many, many years. These perceptions are built up and continue to perpetuate when the human mind doesn't think for itself but simply falls into the subtle influences of these prescribed structures. This means that the individual literally from birth is conditioned into many things. They are taught ways of behaving, ways of thinking, ways of being, and so on. The challenge to this arises when the human being is conflicted between what their own truth is and what society dictates or the environment or the family dictate as being the preferred structure. This creates limitation for the individual consciously or unconsciously and the conditioning will begin to influence the individual's behavior, thought process, choices and so on. But more importantly can begin to erode the relationship between the individual and their truth. And so it is greatly important that the individual free themselves of the limitation of these forms of conditioning and begin the journey back into their individualized truth. For it is from this place that the future unfolds and is available both for the individual and for the greater humanity. The understanding must first come to the human as to what their truth is and for that to happen they must recognize that they are not functioning from that place but rather are operating from preconceived conditioned states of mind, thought, feeling and action. 
and belief. When a human begins to awaken in consciousness, these prescribed forms of being become intolerable over time. One by one, they are eliminated as the human expands themselves and begins to move beyond the prescribed states of being. This is a natural and an organic awakening which comes to pass at a specific point in the individual evolution. However, it is also possible for the individual human to further expand this unlimited state of being by deliberately recognizing the forms of consciousness or and conditioning which are limiting to them. This requires a perspective, an internalization with and of self. And a simple exercise can be undertaken by the human to recognize the truth. And that is for the human to begin aligning themselves with that state of truth within themselves to see what is in fact not their way. This comes to pass when the human poses that same question to themselves and allows their consciousness to respond unhindered. What is your truth? This question can be applied in a myriad of circumstances, situations, relationships, and the answer mostly will differ from one to the other. When the human begins to resonate with this, the opportunity for them to experience themselves in so many different forms, in so many different situations, they have moved beyond the limitation of conditioning and they are expressing beyond the limitation of wounding. This means the human begins to create a new way of being, one rooted in an adventurous experience of self on the earth plane and not one locked into prescribed ways which are in truth not the way of the individual. And so it is we share this information with you in the hopes you will take it to heart and allow yourself to recognize more deeply your own limitations through a constant experience of your truth. We thank you and we leave you with love. Hmm. Sure. Hmm. Thank you for joining me um, at, with this month's meditation. Sorry. Thank you for joining me for this month's channeling. I hope to see you again next time and I leave you with love. Thank you.